Hey guys, I haven't talked to you in like a year and I just really wanted to get some things off my chest, you know, because it's been really hard for me and like I've been having a lot of problems since like, I don't know, bad things have been happening. Mm. Um, well, first of all, first of all, I'm still in love with my ex, Brandon. Um, I don't really know why, because he's been such a dick to me, and I really don't understand it. I don't really understand love, I'll admit. Like, sure, I've been in love, but I don't really understand the concept of it. Even though, at the moment, I'm falling for Luke, like, I doubt he'd just break up with his girlfriend for me, like, he has a girlfriend and, like, they're together, I can't really, can't, can't meddle with that. I'm sure, I really, really like him, but can't get involved with that again after Brandon. What happened with Brandon? I did see him behind his girlfriend's back and everything and it felt so wrong and I hated it and I never want to get into that again. Ever. Because it's wrong. Like, these problems have been causing me so much stress, and today even going to a therapist is probably the best and only answer. Before that, I thought the only answer would be death. Because you don't even know how, how, how much thoughts, how much suicidal thoughts have been going through my mind, and how hard it is. I don't, I can't do it anymore. I thought things were getting better, like before, but now it just turned to the same exact thing, and it's getting worse too, because I know that Luke probably, he won't fall for me again, I mean, he may, he probably, he might, but he has a girlfriend and I don't want, I don't want to get involved, I really don't until he breaks up with her then we could maybe fall for each other again I don't know probably not because I don't understand who would like me because I'm the girl who has too many problems who has too much shit going all along around in her life music helps a lot it does. I love listening to music and writing songs on my guitar. I feel better after I do that. So that's why whenever I'm sad, I just pick up my guitar and start playing. I, I will admit, I used to cut, but I'm over it. I'm over it now. I'm trying my best, and that's all I can do, because this life is messed up, and people don't even get it. People don't get this life. They really don't. I'm sure you agree too, but I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. I'm like talking to no one, but... It just makes me feel better knowing that I posted this and knowing that I'm getting my feelings out and maybe one person or two will at least see this because it hurts. It really hurts inside. It's like suffering. To me, like, if you're suffering, you should be put down like a dog because what's his life over our life.
they're both the same, right? So if a person is suffering that bad, I think you should put them down. But that's just my opinion. I don't know why I think that. Just my crazy mind. But school has not been good for me. The school. It's terrible. There's people that spread rumors and don't give a shit about anyone else but themselves. They really don't. All they care is about looking good. I'm serious. It's so stressful and I'll admit that I have like a couple friends, like two, two friends at that school. I guess like classmates don't really count, so one, Kelsey, and that's it. So, whatever. Well, other people too, but the, like on lunch, one. Let's get over that. Exams today were really hard. I mean, not that hard today, but it's probably going to be more stressful for me tomorrow. I have math and my ex-boyfriend's in that class. Brandon. So, when I see him, it's not going to be a very good reaction. Because it just brings back bad memories. That's why I deleted him off Facebook. And I just, I try. I really do. I really hope he'd understand. But he doesn't. He doesn't understand anything. All he does is keep his feelings bottled up. And tries to look cool. And he does things just to make me upset. And if that's his goal, to make me upset, I don't really want to associate myself with someone like that. Because it's not right. Last thing I want to talk about is just... Well, Westmount. I'm going to Westmount next semester. I'm pretty sure. Now I'm already made an appointment and I'm really scared. Like, extremely scared. Because this means new people, new rumors, new bullshit, new everything. I hate that. I would rather live the whole life than live it over and over again something different like I just want to be happy I just want to have friends I just want the best for me but no it doesn't work that way if someone doesn't want to be a friend then whatever like you're alone but that's okay with me because I don't really care I've gotten used to it over the years and that's fine. Like, I don't really care what people say about me. I mean, sure, it hurts that they can't just all get along, everyone. But you can't do anything about it. You're stuck in this personal hell you made for yourself. That's all. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it won't. How should I know? But just remember that, like, I'm here to talk about anything. You can tell me anything. And I won't judge it at all. I won't care what you say about me. I won't care what you say to me. As long as it's nice and as long as you're having some problems, I'll, I'll try to fix it. I promise. I'm just, I don't even have an explanation for how this all happened in one year. Like the last time I was probably talking to you guys is when I was talking about exam and summer, how great it was, how my, great my boyfriend was. Are you seriously? Yeah, no, no. None of that's true. He's not great. I'll admit that. 
I mean, sure, at times, he can be a really good person and a really good guy and a really sweet guy. And the guy that I actually truly fell in love with a lot, that's okay. And we had a really good memories together. That's fine. I'll just move on. I mean, it's not that easy to move on from someone that you love. But you pull through it. And every single day, it gets better, I think. Not really. Like, I wish I could say all these nice things, but the truth is, it's, it's not great. My life isn't great. Nothing's great. At all. It just makes me more stressed out and more worried. And it's just stupid. Like, if I were to rebuild my life, it'd be so much different. So much different. I'd have a lot of friends, people that don't judge. No rumors at all. And a boyfriend who can actually keep his promises and be there for me all the time, even when we have fights. Because that's all I ever wanted. I really just wanted you. That's all. I just wanted to be. I just wanted to be good with you. That's all. I didn't ask for anything else. I hate this world. I hate this life. I hate everything. I hate you. But I love you at the same time. And it hurts. So, that's all I need to say. Bye.